Hey UGV boondockers. So in today's episode, it's gonna be short and sweet, but it's gonna address something I think that's pretty darn important for a lot of us out there. So you're on the trail, you get a flat, and you gotta change your tire, or you blow out a ball joint. Let's assume you have a ball joint. Nonetheless, you have to lift this thing up, and there's not a whole lot of jack solutions out there. There's high lifters. I have yet to figure out how one would work with one of these, but there's probably something we all have laying around these, These things, things that you thought that you were thought useless, were useless or came with your car, with your car or, you know, I'm a pack rat, I keep things. You could probably find these on eBay, a garage sale, a buddy's got one in his shop. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I incorporated this into my rig build. Stay tuned. So just under my hood, I found a primo spot for this jack and you can see it's right there. How does it fit in there? Just like that. It's pretty, pretty cool. But this thing flops around. So how do I address that? Let me go grab that part. Well, boom. So these little deals, I don't even know where I got them, but there's all kinds of stuff. You can use one of these, whip it right through and it holds it. I'll show you in a minute when it's all hooked up. So what about mounting it down so it doesn't flail about? Grab that. Now this stuff is just what I had laying around. You know, nothing you go and buy online, but you know, I had this carriage bolt. I just sprayed it, good to go. That will go through the back, a little spacer, a wing that would be really good, but I couldn't fit one in. Maybe some of you out there could be creative and tell me a better way to do this, but yeah, just put a little nut on there and we're good to go. So this is basically where it's mounted. Now here, let me get it all put together and show you what the final thing looks like. So when you want to get these out, hey, we've all done a jack before, but I'm going to show you a little tip because I've had to use this actually. The best thing, hold your hand on it and then try to run it up. Yes, it's a slow process, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? So when you get it up where you need to be, etc., etc. as I mentioned before, the little ball on them, there's some others with a little hook. It just depends on what you have, but this will fit right up nicely in this little spot. And notice it clears the tire which is really cool. So let's take a look in the back. Okay, I've got a similar situation. I just moved it right up under here in the general and perhaps other UTVs. There's a little cavity right here, which this fits nicely on. So this is a great versatile and maybe even free jack that you have laying around. So here it is in all its glory. It's in there pretty good. And hey, for the price, you can't beat it. And what I did is I just cleaned this up and put a little rattle pan paint on it. Um, Canyon Satin Black. So that Rust-Oleum stuff is kind of what my go-to is for all kinds of things. But you choose what you like. But nonetheless, lube it up, get it in there, you're good to go. Hopefully this helped. If it did, click like. Take a second to do that, please. And then uh, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. It's that little, little deal down there. So thanks again. You guys have a great day, and I hope it was helpful.